Hi, my name is Ken Oliver. I'm at scrapbook.com today and I'm going to show you how to make some beautiful watercolor backgrounds with my new liquid watercolors. Um, the first watercolor wash I want to show you is a monochromatic watercolor wash. Monochromatic means one color. So I want to choose a vibrant color and we're going to start with pure value and then blend that almost out to pure white. So I think a good one to use for that would be indigo. Uh, it's a very rich blue. And you're going to love our liquid watercolors. The color is pure and very saturated. So right outside of the bottle, you get a very intense hue that you're going to love working with. And you don't have to put these in a palette. You can actually work with them by just putting drops onto your watercolor paper. I'm using my water media paper that I've cut into four by six swatches for card fronts. So to make a monochromatic wash, I'm going to put a few drops of indigo right onto my watercolor paper. And then with a watercolor brush, just blend that in with even strokes. And then I'm going to dilute my paint just a little bit by clearing my brush in water. And what this will do is let us get a beautiful monochromatic wash that goes from intense color almost down to pure white. So can you see how that color just starts to blend lighter and lighter? So I'm able to create that beautiful monochromatic wash with just one color and washing it all the way down the front of my watercolor paper. So just like that, we made a beautiful monochromatic wash. Now you're ready to put die cuts and some embellishments on it and you have a beautiful watercolor background. Next, I'd like to show you a watercolor wash using analogous colors. If you remember from um, my previous little video, analogous colors fall beside each other on the color wheel. So I'm gonna choose alizarin crimson, orange, and lemon yellow to create a beautiful watercolor wash background that would be perfect for beachy scenes or sunset scenes. And again, very, very easy to do. I grab a piece of my water media paper. This water media paper is so important to use because it's ultra bright white and your color will show up beautifully on it. So I'm really going to work as these colors fall on the color wheel. I'm going to start with lemon yellow and put a few drops of lemon yellow across the top of my paper. And with a clean watercolor brush, just wash that across the top of my watercolor paper, my water media paper. And I'm going to bring in a couple of drops of orange and really let this yellow and this orange blend into one another. So they create a beautiful gradient wash where the yellow just flows very smoothly into the orange. Now, while that yellow is still wet, we can let those touch and let that pigment do the blending for you. While that's still wet, the pigment will do all the work. The pigment and the water work together. They want to work together. And then I'm going to blend into alizarin crimson. And this is a great way to start with an analogous color palette. Those colors fall beside each other on the color wheel, so they're always going to be harmonious and easy to use together. And as that dries, those colors will blend even further. So have a beautiful analogous color background that would be great for sunsets or for beach scenes, anything it's ready to embellish and make a beautiful card out of. Next, I'm going to show you a background that would be great to use if you're making mermaid cards or unicorn cards. So I'm going to use some whimsical colors like violet, indigo, and ultramarine blue. And this is going to be a wet on wet wash. So what I'm going to do is before I get started, I'm going to take a piece of this water media paper and I'm really just going to get this paper nice and wet with water. And I want to do this so that I have a nice tray of water on this paper to let the colors work together whenever I drop drops of water on this. You'll see what I mean. So now I've got a nice paper that's that's uniformly wet. And what I'm going to do is add a few drops of 
ultramarine blue. See how that color starts just moving and doing its own thing? And we'll put a couple of drops of indigo. This is so fun. This is almost like alcohol ink. So it's like so easy and so fluid. The thing I love about our liquid watercolors is the colors are really saturated. Then I don't really have to do anything else to this. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spritz. And you can see how those colors start working together. I can go around it just a little bit with my brush to kind of fill in any spaces. I'll just give that a little bit of a dry. And just like that, we've created a beautiful watercolor wash, a wet on wet wash that would be great for using for mermaid cards or any kind of like a uh, card or a layout where you want to have like a, a beautiful clear blue background. So if you like this background, I'm going to create one now that you're really going to love. I'm going to add some liquid sparkle to it to give this overall shimmery effect over the whole background and it's going to be beautiful. So I'll do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to paint a tray of water, it's clear water on my water media paper. So I have a nice tray of water. I'm going to drop in a few drops of ultramarine blue. And you can see it doesn't take very much. Our colors are so pure and saturated that a little bit goes a long way. And this time I'm going to add in some liquid sparkle to really make this background shimmery. Liquid sparkle is a transparent, translucent kind of sheer watercolor wash that you can use in any kind of water media project that you have to really give it just like a, a really shimmery sheen. And then I'll give it a dry. And when it's dry, you'll really be able to see that shimmery sparkle. And see how nice that is? really, really shimmery. So we have one with liquid sparkle and then one with just liquid watercolor. See the difference? They're very pretty. I'm going to show you one more easy watercolor background where we're just going to smoosh color to make easy, simple watercolor backgrounds. And I have a stamp block here. It's my four by six stamp block. And I'm going to put a few drops of color. I want to use an analogous color palette. And let's just say I'm going to make a color palette for fall. So I'm going to use orange, burnt orange, sepia, and lemon yellow. And I'm just going to put a few drops of liquid watercolor on my stamp block. Easiest way to make a beautiful watercolor background. But if you're making Thanksgiving cards or any fall cards or Halloween cards, it's a great watercolor background to start out with put a little bit of sepia on there. And I can give this just a quick spritz of water and take a piece of water media paper and lay that down and just smoosh that background like that. Move it around a little bit. Create a beautiful watercolor background with just a few drops of liquid watercolor and a spritz of water. Isn't that great? So that last smoosh was so much fun. I wanted to do one more just because I love it so much. And I'm going to use an analogous color palette where I'm going to use um, some green and some blue and a little bit of yellow. Uh, these colors fall beside each other on a color wheel. We have um, yellow, lemon yellow. It's a primary color. Ultramarine is also a primary color. And terra verde falls right in between that. So that's going to be a very pleasing color palette. I'm going to just put a few drops of lemon yellow on my stamp block, a couple of drops of terra verde green, and a couple of drops of ultramarine blue. I'll give this just a little spritz of water and then take my water media paper and smoosh it on there, kind of fill in the blanks. And look at that beautiful watercolor background we created with just a couple of drops of liquid watercolor and a quick smoosh. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!